having a son, Wyatt, uh, is there a little uh, mental thing here? You're into it? Why would I, we, well, I was reading the script and I laid it down. I was I getting, I got a Coke or something and Wyatt came running out. He said, hey, Dad, there's, there's, a, there's a script with my name in it. He liked that. I would assume that that had been derived somehow, probably through the knowledge of, of Wyatt Earp. Oh, Johnny, I apologize. I forgot you were there. You may go now. Just leave that shotgun here. That's your actual mustache, right? Yes, I know, by now I've forgotten I have it. Uh, yeah, you know, it took about, uh, I guess, two months, three months to grow it and then cut it down and shape it. And we worked off with some pictures and oh, it was great. tried to get a, uh, a look that, you know, we thought was pretty, was right for the guy. You think you're going to hold on to it for a while? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not if Goldie has anything to say about it. <laughs> hold on, honey, what are you saying? No, you got a piece right down by your mouth on this. Yeah, there you go. See why I love her. <laughs> He's bluffing. Let's rush him. No. He ain't bluffing. You're not as stupid as you look, I. It's about that place and that time, and, and Wyatt Earp was one of the leading figures in, in what went on in Tombstone in, uh, in 1881. The events that led up to the gunfight at the OK Corral. Sober up. Come on, boys. Wretched slugs. Don't any of you have the guts to play for blood? I'm your huckleberry. You know, interestingly enough, he hit people over the head with the gun, actually, more than he did use it. He wasn't much of a quick draw. I'll fight you right now. He was uh, sort of a cool, cool shooter. He stood, stood his ground, made sure that his shot counted. Oh, my God. I think that uh, he was a character who was full of moral dilemma. Sometimes on the right side of the coin, sometimes on the wrong side. I just think he's an interesting guy. Very interesting uh, to see why and when he did certain things. Our movie, I think, says a lot about modern day society. Uh, Tombstone, in its heyday, was had a higher murder rate than, than modern day Los Angeles or New York. Well, obviously, the marshals had to act accordingly. They were some pretty heavy-duty head thumpers. I think that if their mentality were to be employed in the, the, uh, on the side of law today, it would be considered too heavy-handed. All right, Clinton. You called down the thunder. Well, now you got it. You see that? It says United States Marshal. The way I feel about this picture right now is that I still have really great high hopes for it. Um, I have real, I have dreams for this picture, I really do. I, I've never worked uh, as closely to a picture as I have on this one. I really am not just keeping my fingers crossed, but keeping my mind on it 24 hours a day and hoping that uh, at the end of it, when it's all put together, we will have made something really special. Well, I guess we did our good deed for today, Mayor.